fans, this is our last speech, by the way. Mm -hmm. And fans, you just gave my last speech. You just gave your last speech. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. What follows your last? I gave my last speech for Advanced Communicator Cole. Yes. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Was it a 15-minute speech? No, no, this is a five to seven minute five speech. Seven. Your last speech in Advanced Communicator Cole, for those watching at home, is also your last speech in the PTM. Yeah. Yes. Walk together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that we welcome Ms. Sheila Norman and back to the posturing, please pay close attention to her facial expression. brother Scotty's birthday. It was in the middle of the summer, and it was one of those days when the weatherman said we were going to have beautiful weather outside. So we had all come to Mike's parents' house prepared to be outside all day long, and the weatherman was wrong, and it was raining. So we were all trapped inside the house. Mike and his brothers were prowling around like caged animals because they had planned on being outside passing a football back and forth. Mike's dad had chosen this day to try out a new fondue recipe. So the whole house we were stuck in smelled like feet. And I was sitting by the window with a bag of stuff that I should have used for what I had planned that day, pouting because it was raining. And I looked out the window, and there outside was Mike's niece, Caitlin, dancing around in that rain like a crazy person. She was waving her arms for joy and kicking up her feet, and that rain wasn't slowing her down a little bit. And I looked out that window, and I is happening there, and I heard those voices in my head. That's not allowed. Doesn't she know enough to get out of the rain? Now I wanted to say shut up to those voices, but it's hard to say shut up to your mom and your elementary school teacher. So I wasted that day. I sat inside and I pouted. And I didn't look outside and see Caitlin and appreciate the joy she was experiencing, regardless of the rain. She didn't get what she wanted, but she went outside and found her own joy. Now I think back on that day, <coughs> and I think about the fact that it was one of the last days we had with my grandmother. And we should have known that we were going to lose my grandmother because she was older. If I had that day to do over again, I know exactly what I would do. I would take her to get a pedicure. It was great fun for all of us to take her for a pedicure. You girls are so bad. <coughs> I look like a floozy with my toes <laughs> painted like this. And I would definitely spend some time that day taking the opportunity to tease Scotty. Because even though it was his 50th birthday, he had a grandchild brand new grandchild. And we would tease him about it. He would say, I don't know why everybody's congratulating me. What I did happened 20 some years ago. Sadly, we lost Scotty at the age of only 58. We don't have the opportunity to tease him anymore. So 
so when I think back on that day, I take that as a sign to make sure that we grab everything we can out of life. Don't sit on a chair inside the couch just because the day didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. Use those opportunities to dance in the rain. Go ahead and tell the voice of your mother and your elementary school teacher to shut up if it just so happens that they're wrong. Years later, I came across a quote from Vivian Green. Life is not about waiting for the storm to pass. Life is about learning to dance in the rain. Years later, I made a point of telling Caitlin how important it was for me to see her taking the opportunity to dance in the rain and how much I wished I had followed her opportunity done it that day. So think about it this way. Don't dance like no one's watching. Dance like you don't care who's watching. Because your dance could make a huge difference in someone else's life. And that is what Caitlin did for me. So my wish for you, just like my wish for me is, whenever you have the chance to set one out or dance, I hope you dance. Shall we dance, Mr. Tuzmaster?